my, 30th, wife is trying to keep me, 29 meters, away from her gym breakup party. This weekend coming up is my wife's gym breakup party, in which they all get silly and celebrate being fit and poop. They held one of these events just over two months ago, and I attended with my wife and her friends, the night was a standard silly night out, we all had fun. Her friends did keep making fun of my wife for having a crush on her the rock lookalike personal trainer though. These jokes didn't bother me on the night, and I even joined in myself. It wasn't until the next few weeks, my wife claimed to be going to some free PT sessions to help train one of the new ones. I believed her at the start, until week 2 or 3 I noticed withdrawals from our account of the exact amount a PT session with the rock would cost, taken out about 10 minutes before she was due to start. I also noticed her texting him later on those days, either saying thanks or booking the next weeks. I have no idea why she needed to lie about these, but it happened anyway. It wasn't until I was doing our tax, I questioned her on the withdrawals, but she still claimed they were free. At this point I also suggested he was a rip-off, as $80 for one hour of training is a lot of money. This resulted in her not really talking to me for 3 to 4 days, lol. When she began talking to me again, I was told she was changing to group training which was half the price of a one-on-one. -on -one. I seemed happy with this, until I noticed the same amount of money being taken from the account, or a build-up of withdrawals during the week to cover a one-on-one -on -one session. I've let this ride until this week, which is now her breakup party. I asked last week what the girl was, what time and where we are going etc. She said she was bringing a girlfriend who went last time, and that she wanted to catch up with her at the breakup party, and pretty much uninviting me from the event. This is where I unfortunately checked her iPad with her messenger open, and checked out the chat between my wife and her friend. The main parts I got from this conversation were that my wife was one of her PT's favorite clients and that she had been invited to pre-drinks at his house, her friend also offered to be her wingman so she could chase the rock on the dance floor later in the night. So this is why I was uninvited I guess. I don't really want this to become about me checking through her messages, but I will if I have to. I don't think she is cheating. He has a lot of girls chasing him looking at his insta, and I don't know why he'd bother with a married woman. Part of me wants to leave this be, part of me wants to confront. Any advice on how to approach this too long, didn't read, wife wants to hang out with her PT who looks like the rock on a silly night out that I was uninvited from. I know why but don't know how to approach. Hey guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. It would really help me out. Thanks. So your wife has the hots for a guy, is lying to you and trying to create situations where she can be around him without you. She has friends helping and encouraging. There's a pretty good litmus test for whether a relationship outside of marriage is inappropriate or not. Would you do anything differently with that person if your spouse was next to you? Your wife is actively trying to engineer that. You need to sit her down and calmly tell her what you know. What happens afterwards depends on how she reacts. I, 28 slash F, started making sexy videos for my boyfriend, 29 slash M slash 2 years, as a surprise. He found out and thinks I'm cheating. I never thought I would turn to the internet for relationship advice but this is so humiliating I can't even bring myself to think about talking about this with a friend or whatever. I'm desperate here, Reddit. Obviously a throwaway. So, a little backstory here. I am an attorney who is doing well enough in her career, huzzah, that I get to go appear at a flurry of expert and witness depositions for an upcoming trial on my own for the first time. It involves a two-week traveling stint with lots of flights, driving, busy days and exhausting nights. It's the first time I will be away from my boyfriend for longer than a day since we've gotten together, because, you know, job things, I've known this was coming for months and so did boyfriend. We also live together and have done so for a little over a year now. I'm leaving next Monday. I decided that I wanted to do something a little special for boyfriend, let's call him. Um, Logan. While he's been in night class for the last few weeks I took to my laptop slash phone and decided to make some sexy videos for him. 
We're both highly romantic people and very affectionate. I wanted to give him some extra spank bank material while I'm working, essentially incommunicado, for two weeks. This was also potentially spawned due to the fact that I grew up romantically repressed and have just recently within the last few months learned how to really orgasm and play. I am proud. I was excited for my authenticity. I'm being adventurous. I was working on video number 5. Shower had fun. I was doing my thing at 5.45 pm with plenty of time before Logan's love let out at 8.30 pm. I didn't hear the front door open but Logan sure heard me making noise. His lab had let out early. I left the bathroom door open to keep it from getting too steamy so he rounded the corner and saw me, naked in front of the webcam rocking the detachable shower head. Naturally he freaked out and cried out what are you doing? I dropped the shower head and slammed the laptop shut in fright, which I assume made it look even more sketchy. He stormed out of the bathroom and down the hall, picked up his bag ready to leave when I slid down the hallway in his tracks without even grabbing a towel. I told him to let me explain it is no way as bad as it looks, I wasn't camming with anyone I was making videos for him. Logan shouted at me that it was the stupidest excuse he had ever heard. This response was just out of character for him. He's such a nice, calm, loving man. We have had a perfect two years together and have never fought. Neither of us have raised our voices and any disagreement we have had has been resolved swiftly with actual adult discussion. He stormed out of our apartment and I have yet to hear from him. I've tried calling and texting him, leaving him crying and pleading voicemails to try to tell him what I was really doing but he hasn't budged. I'm just sitting here at home terrified and I have no idea what to say or do at this point. Reddit, what in the hell do I do to fix this? Too long, didn't read, I'm going away for two weeks for work and decided to make sexy videos for my boyfriend to jerk to while I'm gone as a surprise. I've been recording while he has night class. Tonight he got out early and caught me recording. He stormed out before I could explain. I haven't heard from him in hours. P.S. I am sorry for any jumbledness. I am trying to make sense of this and I am quite distraught. I imagine words aren't exactly working for me right now. Yikes. This is a tough one, I'm not sure there's any way to prove to him that you weren't being shady. On one hand it would be nice if he trusted you enough to not jump to the worst conclusion, but I can see how catching you getting freaky in front of the laptop wouldn't look great. So, poop, I don't know. Maybe offer to let him go through your phone slash internet history and such, but even then he'll probably think well she just already deleted everything. Here's a question. Did you do anything in the videos that might indicate it was for him? Like saying his name for instance? Update, I, 28 slash F, started making sexy videos for my boyfriend, 29 slash M slash 2 years, as a surprise. He found out and thinks I'm cheating. It's been over 24 hours since this whole cluster duck began and I haven't really been able to reply all day. I'm blown away by the response from my original thread, I never expected over 200 comments with a variety of different perspectives. I started replying to more comments this evening but I figure it would be easier to just update everyone at once. Some FAQs, did you say his name in any of the videos? Did you have any introduction or are you just awkwardly jumping into it? No, no firm name usage. I did have intros that used generic pet names, baby, sexy, and the like. Nothing that specifically cements the fact that it was made for him. However, I did find something that stood out in one of my videos, more on that in a bit, how would he know you were on your webcam? I'm not sure how long he was standing there. I might not have seen him right away. I have a MacBook Pro that has a built-in camera so there's nothing attached to the top or plugged in. I can't say for certain but I presume he saw the screen? My bathroom setup is weird where there are two entry doors. Why did you slam the laptop closed? My initial thought was oh my god I'll ruin the surprise. It was a gut reaction. It was stupid. I should have paused and reacted better. Are you being a sneaky lawyer and laying the bait expecting Logan to discover this thread? As far as I know, Logan doesn't actively use Reddit. 
He never mentions it, I never say hey check out this thing on Reddit. And he never does the same. I've never seen a flash of anything resembling Reddit if I happen to see his screen. So maybe he does use it, maybe he doesn't. I plan on deleting these posts fairly quickly because it's humiliating. Has Logan ever been cheated on? I can't say for certain. He's discussed his exes in the past and the reasons for their breakup never specifically included cheated. He never said he has, but he never has said he hasn't. I'll follow up with this anyhow. Here's how the last 24 hours have been. I went to bed last night tossing around the possibility of calling in sick the following day to throw myself a pity party. However I ended up going to work today but progressively felt worse throughout the morning as I did not receive any contact from Logan. However, as I mentioned in my previous post comments section, I texted Logan last night with, what I perceived to be, a very thoughtful explanation with login information to my social media, email, etc. I expected to be pinged right away that someone logged into my Facebook and email but the ping text slash email never came. By about 11.45 I was feeling so awful that I was preparing to pack up and go home for the day. I received a call from the receptionist saying that I had to sign for a delivery from Jimmy John's right before noon. I was confused because I definitely didn't order any lunch. I asked her if she was sure it was for me and not, other attorney with the same first name as me, she confirmed that it was me and I came down to get my food. Sure enough, Jimmy John's for me. I tentatively tossed around the idea of texting Logan and saying thank you for the lunch but debated on whether or not sending him another text was a wise idea. I went back upstairs and by the time I got back to my desk, I already had a text myself from Logan. Hey, I'm sorry for my reaction last night. I should have heard you out instead of storming out like that. We've been together for two years and you've never given me a reason to distrust you. I honestly think the videos are a little weird I'm not sure why it just doesn't sit right with me although I appreciate the thought. I always love how you try to surprise me and show you care but this is kind of a big thing, OP, for me specifically, given my weird romantic past, and I wish you would have talked to me about it. I want to hear your side of the story specifically now that I've had time to think and process. I shouldn't have taken the time to think in the way that I did but I know you're smart enough to know how this looks from my perspective. I'm really freaked out about the possibilities and just need some reassurance I guess. I'll be home at 9 o'clock tonight and I don't want to talk about it right away, I just want to be with you. Can we talk about this tomorrow without regurgitating the entire conversation, innocuous fluff not relevant to the issue, just exchanging niceties, saying I love you etc., I ended the conversation by thanking him for the lunch surprise, it was very sweet, and told him I would never do anything to hurt him and I look forward to working through this with him. This evening I went through the two videos I didn't watch last night. I tried going through them last night but, a, they're awkward as duck in retrospect so it was painful to watch knowing what I know now and, b, I just wanted to go to bed. The second video I ever made did have something distinct to Logan. I was wearing a pair of lingerie he bought me and said something like you still like these right? Remember when you bought them for my birthday last year? So when we talk tomorrow I'll at least be able to show him that. I don't believe it's airtight by any means, but it's the second video, meaning it's old, showing I've been doing this for a few weeks, and I think. Well, surely it can't make it worse. So that's where I'm at. I'm CST so it's about 8 colon 30 ish now so Logan will be home soon. I just wanted to update those that were following along, and it helped organize my thoughts too. Thank you to everyone who commented and provided me with perspective, advice, and occasionally laughed at my jokes. Here's to hoping I have something positive to share later. Too long didn't read mysterious Jimmy John's appeared at work. Logan used it as a virtual icebreaker. He sent me a nice message apologizing for his reaction, stated he was kind of weirded out by the videos, but will be home tonight and just wants to be with me. Plans to talk tomorrow. I found something in the second video that is at least something worth showing him that it's for him and not just the internet folk. Sounds like it's all going to be okay. 
I'm sure once he sees that part in video 2, he'll be fine, especially since he already seems to be coming around.